Right, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm really glad that you're here. My name is Holly and I have a bunch of new items to show you guys. I've actually tried to do a couple videos and uh, I didn't like them, I deleted them, and then I get a few more things, so I tried another video. So I'm hoping the third time's the charm. So if you're seeing this video, that means I was mostly okay with it. I'm, I'm usually not 100% okay with my videos, and uh, but lately it's been a little, um, been a little frustrated with them <laughs> so anyway maybe that's why there's been a little bit of a gap from me doing videos not that probably anyone's paying that close attention but anyway so I have a lot of cool things from random um, thrift shops or thrifting I should say from shopping and also from the flea market I was at the flea market today so I got a few really cool things I think they're really cool I think you might enjoy them as well so I feel like my hair is like, you ever do you put your like your hair down and it's just I know the guys will totally relate to this. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, that's better. I feel like sometimes I put my sunglasses in and then one of these hairs just gets like stuck and sticking out and I have no idea what it's doing. I'm outside where it's really, really nice out, but it's a little bit glary. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain. I think the, the worst potential, um, sorry, the worst, yeah, the most potential uh, part of the day to get rain is past. So I think we're okay. Um, so I'm gonna dive right in. There's gonna be no rhyme or reason to it. There are a couple, stacks of things. I've got plates and I have got some Christmas items. So some of those are going to be kind of clumped together but basically I'm just surrounded by some really cool things here. So I'm just gonna start showing you guys and hope you enjoy it. First item is this paperweight. To be honest after I bought it I really didn't want it anymore. <laughs> it's cool I like it but it has a chip on the bottom right, right here. So that was a little frustrating to find. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think a couple bucks. But it is cool. It looks like it's got like a green glass in it instead of like clear. Usually it's a clear glass. But it's hefty. It's heavy. It's nice. But I don't want a ton of paperweights and I don't want to be the person who has like a million paperweights. So nothing wrong with that. But there's other things that I prefer to collect. And I already have four paperweights and I'm like, I don't need a fifth. I think I just grabbed this because it was so pretty. So anyway, sorry, you have to excuse the traffic. I really wanted to be outside today, but I'm like, I'm trying to get the right angles and everything, so. All right, another item. I don't think I showed this to you guys yet. I'm pretty sure that I didn't. Um, this was actually uh, in a previous video, I do believe, because I really liked it. It was $12.99, and I went back the next day, and they actually had half off of the orange tags. So I did grab this. I did look it up on eBay. They're called Globe Vases, if I remember correctly. The maker is mauling. They only go for, let me put it this way, people are asking between 20 and 40-ish on eBay. I couldn't find any that had sold, but I just really love the colors and the pattern. It just, it is a funky shape. I just, I feel like I don't, I've, I haven't seen this kind of shape very often, if at all. And the oranges, oops, I don't know why I'm in there. Um, I hate doing that because when I'm like this, the camera wants to focus on my face. So anyway, but the picture on here was really cool. It's kind of like muted colors, except for the orange. And um, it's like a little transfer wear vase, I think, but I don't know, I just thought that was really cute. And also I liked it because it had fall colors. I love fall, all the colors of fall. So it just, it totally went with that. So this would be really cool in the fall if it was like white flowers or mums or something like that. Or even yellow uh, flowers would be really, really cute. Um, another item I got, this I was really excited about. I got this at Goodwill for like $2.99. Little lipstick holder. I already had it in my, um, I don't think it has anything on the bottom. I already have it with all my makeup stuff. As you can see, I've got my Alice in Wonderland lip stuff in there. Sorry. <coughs> Allergies are kicking up. I love the vintage lipstick, hol lipstick holders. They're really hard to find. I don't see these around very often. I'll see them on eBay, but not like out in the wild, not in thrift shops or antique shops. So I think that was, yeah, like $2.99. I told myself no more ceramic pictures, but I couldn't help myself when I saw this one. I just love the fruit on it. It's like 3D, 3D fruit. I thought they were cherries, but when I looked it up on eBay, someone called it apples. So that makes a little bit more sense. I don't think that's, yeah, the bottom just says Japan. But I just love the look of that. I just thought that was so cute. And from what I can tell, there aren't any chips. There might be one on one of the leaves, but Oh, so cute. Just look, I just, it's, it's fun to, I'm such a kid. Like, you know, your mom always told you not to touch things in the store. This is the kind of thing I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna, I like feeling, it just, it's fun, it's just fun. All right, another item I got is this really cute vase. 
it's in its obviously it's in its original packaging and um it's actually from what the back say 1985 and I've been slowly kind of getting into vintage heart vases, like especially the, like the Valentine's Day ones and stuff. I mean, of course, I think most heart vases have to do with Valentine's Day, but be that as it may, I just I saw this. I think it was $2.99. Um, I took the price tag off already. I've been displaying it in my corner case or corner cabinet, I should say. So it looks really cute in there, and I even I don't mind the fake flowers. <clears throat> look at oh my god, it's this huge box. It doesn't look like anything. It actually had a big old ugly uh, wreath in it. But the reason I got it is because of the Christmas patterns all the way around it. Um, they wanted $9.99 for it. I didn't want to spend 10 bucks because I knew I only wanted the box. So when I went in the one day and it was half off, I went ahead and bought it. I'm throwing away the wreath, that's going in the garbage. It's just cheap materials is falling apart anyway. Like I didn't really care about the wreath. Um, it's the same like two pictures all the way around. But I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it. But I just love the... Uh, vintage images of Christmas so I might what I might do um, is cut them out and frame them or I don't know what else if you have any ideas of what I could do with this please let me know okay <laughs> this is the most random thing I'm not sure why I bought it except that it was just really cute and really like cottagey I don't know it's sweet rustic I think it's just a pine wood box it's, it's pretty lightweight it's thick it's hefty it's made really really well but I love like the Lucite trivet that's kind of been like just like stuck in there. Can you hear the wind chimes? I'm sitting right under them. Oh, it's such a gorgeous day. I was hoping that they were gonna start chiming while I was doing my video. It's very calming. I just love this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, but I don't care. It was so cute. It was. I have no idea how much I paid for it. I want to say three to five dollars. It was not a lot. Um, but even the lady at the Goodwill when she was ringing it up. She was saying how cute it was, and they like they had just put it out on the shelf, I think, that day, and she had noticed it. So I kind of feel a little bad because I think maybe she wanted it, but I don't know. Oh my gosh! Okay, this next piece, I almost didn't get it, <coughs> but I'm so glad I did. I hope you can appreciate it the way I do. Um, but it's kind of funny though too. So I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Get this print. Now I had this covered because um, under here it did not properly attired. And maybe for the, if we're all adults, it doesn't really matter. But I know sometimes kids watch this, and I don't know what YouTube's gonna do with it. So I'm just playing cautious. Um, so it's not that bad, but I, I have a little uh, postcard over here just covering it, just, just in case it's offensive to anybody or YouTube. But it is um, Polish. Um, Josh helped me look it up. It's a Polish. I don't know if it's an advertisement or what exactly it is. And sorry, all the traffic going by today. I love the artwork. I love the colors and I love these faces and what basically it is, it's advertising. Oh, I can't remember exactly. What I might try and do is have, um, Josh uses the Google Translate. We're able to see kind of what it says. I might include some screenshots of, of what it says, but, um, if you know Polish, you can read it. I'm trying to, trying to remember what it said. Um, this one says something about like skin gets in the way and then so I think this one has something to do with like transferring body fat so if you're too thin or too heavy like whatever like there was the the idea that you could like transfer so you all could just be the shape you wanted um so it's kind of I mean it's kind of sad in some ways I mean people you should just love who you are or whatever but like I don't know it's kind of I, I just still think it's cute though it's just something sweet about it I just like to look at it and think it's just cute all shapes and sizes kind of thing. That's just how I look at it. So I'm actually kind of glad it's not in English. Um, but it's really funny because this one over here, see if I can remember, see this little lamp? Next to here it said, oh, I wish I could remember. It, it was something like, uh, grease something, like grease reducer, getting rid of grease or along the, I'm like, what does that have to do anything? And I'm like, oh, it's like a fat reducer or something like that, but how it translated, it was just so funny. Anyway, but I just, I love the images. So I have it in my bedroom with all my, my jewelry and stuff, whatever, but I just, I don't know. I just, it's something sweet about it. This, it's just more for a fun product for later. Do you guys, did you all see, I don't know if did you all see, I think it was last year or the year before, there was that whole, um, Halloween ghost trend painting thingy that people would get like a cheap piece of art from Goodwill or somewhere and then just paint ghosts on it to add like a nice little like Halloween decor. I got this 
before that. I actually had it in one of my videos, and um, I forgot to go back and buy it. So I went back. The next time I was there, I checked, and it was still there. And I love the picture because it's like the view of inside the barn looking out. You can see all the pumpkins. Let me see. Sorry, I'm trying to, trying to not step on anything and also show you the picture. There's like pumpkins all over the place. There's no leaves on the trees. See the birds flying in the distance. So it's definitely autumn. But it's just all oh, the birds are tripping. Can you guys hear the birds? I hope you can hear the birds. So I got I only paid like $4.99. It's the cheapest thing. It's just a print right on cardboard and the frame is the cheapest plastic. Um, but anyway, I just thought <clears throat> come like you know, October, I might try and like paint some ghosts on here or I don't know, like a couple little black cats or something. Like something cute like that. Like I think it'd be a fun project to do. So um, maybe we'll do a video of that later. The trend came and came and went, so maybe people aren't going to do that anymore. But I, I think we should. I think it's fun. It'd be really fun to do that for the different holidays, like even like Christmas and Easter and 4th of July. Like I, I think that's a fun way to reuse a lot of these prints because I think a lot of things on artwork kind of gets lost and missed and people don't appreciate it. So and instead of going to the dump, you know, in the trash. It'd be kind of fun to remake them and have fun with them. So, that's a neat, creative way to reuse an old picture. I like it. All right. Um. Oh my gosh, I still have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. Um. Oh, it's so nice outside. Okay. So, one thing I'm so so excited about is I finally got one of those lucite bejeweled hands. So you can see that. Got it off of eBay. It's missing its stand, and I had to cut off like bits of plastic that were just like, I still have to sand it a little bit. But I finally got one. I'll be honest, I didn't even know they came in green. I know they came in orange and pink, and recently I discovered they came in black. I saw that on Google Images, and then they have one that's like, like um, psychedelic colors, just like pink, orange, and, and purple, I think. And it's just kind of like all over the hand. It's not see-through like these are. But anyway, I didn't even know they had the green, and I was so excited to find it. Um, Pay more than I wanted to considering it's broken, but I don't care. I, so I did get a little plate that I'm going to glue this on. I got a neat, a neat little um, round metal plate. I actually just got it today, so I will show that to you later. It's not terribly exciting on its own, but I'm excited to get this on there um, safely so I don't step on it. Because if I break this, I will not forgive myself. <laughs> Another eBay item that I got is a little plastic play lipstick. It's actually Fisher Price. A little top there. And I love it because the lipstick goes up and everything. It's like, I love this as a kid. I love playing dress up. Like, I was a tomboy and a girly girl. I was everything. I loved to climb trees and get myself all dirty. But then I also loved playing makeup. And I just got this because I wanted to display it with my perfumes. And um, also, it was just nostalgic. It was kind of fun, too, because um, I couldn't buy it on its own. Like, it ha you had to buy, like, the My Pretty Purse. And there was like a little vanity and comes like a ton of stuff with it. But I got a really, really good deal on it. So I gave the rest of the items to my friend. She's got two little girls and she likes vintage items as well as I do. Or as I do, yeah. So <clears throat> I didn't get put like to waste. Like they're not like sitting in my basement someplace not getting used. Like I like things to be used. So I'm so glad that she could use them. Um, so I just, I got such a good deal on this. And these a while ago went for a lot of money on eBay. Because I remember a few years ago trying to buy one and I cannot... I have a price in my head that I think one went for, but I think it's wrong. Was it in the 90, 90 some dollars? Maybe it was 40 some. I don't remember. I remember thinking that's astronomical, but my memory isn't always the sharpest. So don't quote me on that. But I remember thinking that I was happy with this, buying everything that I got with this. Um, but I also did keep one thing from the pile. There was also these little cute ghost earrings. So I didn't get just the, the lipstick basically. I got, oh. Uh, these are from 1987. Cute. Oh, darling. And the little hands actually do move. Can you see that? Hi. Anyway, but I thought these were really fun. Another random thing that I got is this candlestick holder. Paid $2.99. No, I actually left the price tag on this one. Um, I'm not a huge candlestick holder fan. I know a lot of people really love this brass candlestick holders. And I've had them. Um, and they do look great in pictures. They look great in people's homes. But for whatever reason, when I put them in my home, I don't like it. I don't like them. But I like the, the darker ones. Like this one, like this, this like silver tone, pewter. Heck, it's probably stainless steel. I have no idea what it is. But I prefer this color tone better. 
I like brass, but for whatever reason, it just it doesn't work in my home. I don't know how that works or why that is, but it just doesn't. All right, I have a whole stack of plates I'm gonna show you guys. I, I think I have a, a plate obsession. I really gotta slow my roll. But anyway, be that as it may, let me show you what I got here. <laughs> this is the stack. <laughs> but my absolutely favorite one is the one on top. It's a cute little cupy plate. I only paid $2 for this. And I don't even collect dolls or cupid dolls or anything like that. But it's vintage, it's a child's play. I like the little divided sections. And the, oh my word, the baby is so cute. Look at him, all oh, or her. That is so freaky. It does look like he or she is missing their foot though. See that there? Wait, am I pointing right side? Yeah. So the reflection of my phone is a little odd. Oh, that was so cute. I was so excited when I found that. So the plate I got. Just, I love the uh, the Indian chief. It's a very simple picture, but I just love it. I thought that was cool. And this is one of my newer ones. I just I, I think I mostly got it because the picture was cute and there's a lot of pink on it. I like the top here too. I didn't really realize it after I bought it. There are like holly leaves up here. So I'm guessing that maybe it's a Christmassy. What do you think? It just looks like a homey scene, homey scene to me. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. It's um, Royal Dalton Tableware Limited, 1984. Supposedly, there's four plates. It's called um, The Wind in the Willows, Badger's House, and supposedly this is one of four. So I'm assuming the other three have different pictures. I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet, but I do plan to do that later. And then this plate, I, I have seen this picture printed on several items over the years, like on wall art and plates and I think even cards. And I love it. I love the fall scene. I love the pumpkins, all the oranges and the deep yellow hues. So I got the plate because I keep seeing this picture and I love it. And the plate was $2.99. A little bit for a plate, but I don't, I don't care. Um, it's from Cornerstone by Corning. Um, not for broiler or stovetop use, so good to know. Um, but it actually worked out too because they had five of these plates and I only wanted one. And um, I'm so glad they priced them individually because sometimes they'll just tape all the plates together. But this one actually worked out because I just wanted one and then that way I left them with an even set of four. So someone might come by and be more willing to buy all four because, you know, it's an even set. But anyway, I just love that. It's, it'll be a fun one to pull out around fall. So. Okay, last plate. This massive hunk of thing, um, but just again, I loved it because it's got uh, it says 22 karat gold in the back. It says Eastern China, New York, USA, and it's the same repeating picture all the way around the edge. The colonial couple. So if you want to look this up, it is called Colonial Couple. I actually had to research it a little bit myself. I never found this exact plate. They don't go for a ton of money, the, the similar ones anyway. But I love the shape of it. And I just, I love that it had the, the 22 karat gold. And I like the picture too. I just thought that was fun. So that's a, that's a really fun platter. I actually do use my plates. I actually use them around dinner time for serving food. There's been a few times I'll use my plates for having my lunch on. It just, it makes serving food a lot more fun. Not that food isn't fun on its own. Good food can carry its weight own weight, but having stuff on really pretty places is really fun. All right, on to the Christmas stuff. I have some really, really cool things. At least I think they're really, really cool. All vintage Christmas as far as I can tell. Ooh, that's gonna tip forward, isn't it? I'm trying to make sure I don't drop this whole, I have everything in a bowl. I'm just trying to balance it on my lap right now. But um, anyway, this is Mikasa. Cool is that? I just, I love the picture. I was pretty much gonna buy it anyway, but then when I turned it around and it said Mikasa, I'm like, oh, definitely. I, I didn't even have to think about it. It was $2.99, and I'm not sure if it's like for a, a lid for something. Um, I, at first, I thought it was some kind of serving dish, but it's weird, because it kind of like goes down like this. Then it's got this rim. And I think it was my son who said about, is it a lid? I'm like, oh, oh, maybe it is. So, I mean, that'd be a really big, bowl or dish but ah, I thought it was cute I got this little Santa Claus he's lovely I think he's a napkin holder but I only pay like two dollars for him at um, 
Goodwill. Is any markings on the bottom? It says Taiwan. J. Oh, sorry, traffic. Traffic is still loud today. Um, it says J S N Y Taiwan. But actually, I was thinking it'd be really cute to hold um little Christmas books, little kids' Christmas books. And then, these out carefully, got this cute little mug. Let me see the mug. It says season's greetings, and I just love the images. Oh, I'm looking at that mug. And I actually got this for a dollar because um, it was on sale for half off. Yeah, this is half off. I had to think about it. But I've never seen it before. Um, it just says Japan. This is message mugs. And George Good, I think. So I'm wondering now if there's like other mugs with different pictures, but the same kids. So that might be might be fun to research. Um, also I got this big old Santa head. Oops, didn't break anything. Big old Santa head. He was fun. It says um 83 on the bottom. I think this is one of those ceramic crafts where you just you go in and paint something. But he's cool. Nothing here on the bottom except for the 83. Yeah. And then I got this ribbon box. Getting the price tag off is going to be interesting. I'm not looking forward to that. I just got this more, more for decoration. I have an old um, tinsel box. Oh, you can see that, okay? An old tinsel box that um, I just use for decorations. So I thought this would be just because it looks so pretty on its own. It would be great Christmas decoration. And then the last thing, these are so cool. Um, I got these and I thought they were just all the same, all the same thing. But they're actually the 12 Days of Christmas like little metal. They're like metal. Plates or coasters? I'm not sure exactly what you'd call them. So you have this guy, this guy, I just love that every single one is different. These are so cute. What would you use these for? Would you use these for coasters? I feel like they're almost a little too small for coasters, but I don't know. Sorry I didn't go in order, it's just how I had them stacked, so hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Did you say 1989? I'm not sure if I said that yet, but they are definitely vintage. I just, it's a cute little stack of plates anyway. Nothing else. Actually, I totally forgot I had this. I had to go back inside the house and get it, but I got this really cute little cat mug. Seeing the Christmas mug reminded me, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm missing that. I was just, I just thought it was really cute, a really sweet illustration. This also is, oh, sorry, someone's backing up. Um, J-S-N-Y, Taiwan. So again, another Taiwan mug. I just thought it was so sweet. Again, I don't buy, I don't buy a lot of mugs, but lately I feel like I keep seeing more and more cute ones and... And this morning I went to the flea market and I got some really cool stuff. I only had like, I forget how much money, like less than $20. I didn't have a lot of money on me. Um, but sometimes it's, I have found that I do better if I have less money on me. If I pull out a lot of cash and I walk through, I don't really find anything. But if I only have a few bucks and I'm, you know, real picky and I just kind of stick to the things that I like and little cheap things, I usually do pretty well. So the one that I'm actually, what I spent the most money on today was this really cool purple ring. <clears throat> if you can see it. in there but I really loved it because I've actually been looking at rings like this on eBay and this is a good price it was eight dollars it was the most money I spent on one item today but it was worth it because I've been looking for one like this anyway and it's so much cheaper than eBay I don't have to pay for shipping and I just I love the purple I don't have a purple acrylic, acrylic ring yet or lucid whatever it is which actually while I have my the little plastic hand on here one of the reasons why I got this hand is because I want to put all my plastic rings on this so they just look so much better on this hand. So when I get all the colored plastic rings on here, the lucite, acrylic, whatever you want to call them, it looks so cool. It just it displays so nicely. I love it so much. It's so cool. But anyway, so that was the one item I got. And then I have this 
whole bag full of items. Well, whole bag full. It makes it sound like I've got like Santa's tote bag, but it's just a little plastic bag. But for me, it's a lot of cool things in there. Ugh. Amazon. All right. One item. I got this today. I got a tin can, this Boston tea tin can. I don't know if you guys remember th these. These were from like the 90s, early 2000s, I think. And we used to get this tea all the time. My mom would get it. It's like some of the best tea. Um, so I recently bought it, but it just came in a little cardboard box. I didn't realize though that it actually has um, like a like a black tea or a pico tea or whatever it is. So there is caffeine in here. The one night I, t I had it before I went to bed, and I couldn't sleep very well. I'm like, why why am I not sleeping? And then I realized the next day there's actually a little bit of caffeine in it. But be that as it may, I just I love the tea. I forgot how good it was, and I was like, if I find one of the t the tins for the tea. I can spit it out. Um, I definitely want to grab it because I want to buy some more of the tea and stick it in the tin. So I saw this today for a dollar and I had to grab it. I got this. This is really cool. I only paid a dollar for Oh, it's broke at shoot. Did I have it on my watch? <laughs> I just realized I bought this thing for a dollar. I didn't even realize it was broken, but I only paid a dollar for it, so that's okay. It's got a little little. It got a big old chunk out of it. But I like the shape of it. Like I saw it sitting on the table from afar and I just loved I love the flowers on it. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look at the handles. Look at this. It's so like ornate. You just don't see that. And the little, no wonder it's broken because it's like this, I don't know if you can see that. This delicate little ruffle of porcelain here at the base. And okay, this is something I want to ask you guys. Why do you think it's got a cork on the bottom? It's got the little holes in the top. So I was thinking, oh, it's for your hat pins, maybe. But then I was like, oh, maybe it's for holding flowers. Uh, maybe it's like a little like vase or something. But again, why would you want the cork on the bottom? So maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's for powder, like talcum powder. I really, I don't know anything about this. So if you, if you have any information, do let me know, because I would love to know. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I just, it's really a shame about it. Oh, there's two chips. Oh my gosh, I'm not even paying attention. Because I looked at my bag. I thought maybe it happened to my watch. Oh yeah. That one, and that one, good grief. Oh my gosh, oh and here, oh my word, look how bad that is. No wonder it's only a dollar. That's okay, I still love it, it's still pretty. I didn't even notice those till now, but I don't care, it's so cool. It's beautiful and gorgeous and I don't care. Okay, and this is, this. I didn't get this at the flea market, I just grabbed this at a thrift shop today. This is actually a little plate I'm gonna use for that hand. Um, so the goal is to attach this to here so it has a base. And I like this little black dish because it's heavy and it'll hold it okay. So I think that'll work just fine. I think they'll work perfectly. I get this cute little, I guess you call this a penny doll. It says Japan. Made in Occupy Japan. So hold on, let's do this one first. I get this cute little dude. And then this little uh, rainbow pin. Like enamel rainbow pin. I get these both for a dollar. The pin does have markings on it, but I can't read it. I think, oh, it says HMK Ink. So it is signed. So I thought that was really cute. Show you the back. Even though it's backwards, I'll, I'll quick show you. But I just, I love this little this little doll. Isn't it cute? So adorable. He's like, is he smoking a pipe or playing an instrument? <laughs> I don't know. But I like, it says Japan on the bottom, like really, really hard to see. Can't see that. And the back does say made in Occupy Japan. I'm not sure I see that. Pretty cute. I got this necklace. This is also just a dollar. I liked it because it's really long, number one. I like these really long necklaces. And then it's got some weight to it. I think they're actually glass beads. I will show you up close. I'm just trying to get a good grip on it. Um, and it may not be old at all. You tell me what you think. I just thought they were so pretty. This is so cute. I actually walked away, thought about it, came back. But I love the little face on it. It says, I hold the bag. It's a little tea bag plate. And I like the fact that it's got a base on it. It says Japan. Definitely vintage. But I like that I can stand it up. I know exactly where I'm going to put it. It's going to display. Oh, the truck's going by. It's going to display so nicely. I love the face. Oh, I love those. 
Alright, two more things. I got some more jewelry today. Um, I got this sweet little, I think it's lucid or acrylic. I think more acrylic. Okay, the purple rose pen. The gentleman was asking $3 and I was digging, he had a whole plastic tub full of stuff I was digging through. And um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pay $3. I walked away. I looked through the rest of the tables that I had missed, came back and bought it just because I'm like, you know what, gosh darn it, I love it, I'm gonna get it. A little closer there, can you see it okay? That was neat. And he was so sweet too. He was like, oh, you can, you can get some, after I paid him, so you can grab something else, like out of the, the bin. He had a thick accent, but I could tell what he was saying. I'm like, no, no, I'm fine, it's okay. And it's funny too, I was thinking about it lately, and usually I like haggling with people at a flea market. That's kind of part of the fun, at least for me anyway. I think a lot of people like to do that, kind of get a better deal. It doesn't, I don't think you're being cheap. I think it's just part of the experience. Most people will price their things higher and um, try to get a cheaper deal. Be that as it may, and that being said, um, lately I felt like I don't want to do that to people. I think because I know the economy is hard. I know a lot of these people are trying to make money. And if I had the money on me, um, I'd rather just pay it. You know, I was, I'm okay with that price. Even the ring, I didn't haggle. You know, part of me wanted to offer five. Well, you know, I have the money. I want the ring. And, um, I'm just going to pay her for it. I have the money for it. You know, it's, it's, it's part of the experience of being a flea market. But again... I don't know. Lately, I just feel like I don't. I don't want to do that. To each his own, and I'm not judging anybody else. If any, if every, if other people do that, totally fine, totally cool. I don't hold that. I don't hold that towards anybody. Just myself. Just personally, lately, I've just been feeling like I should just pay them what they're asking if I if I'm comfortable with it. If I really, really want the item, maybe, and it's really, really expensive. I, you know, I might hide a little, but like I got, for item for a few dollars, like just pay it. I guess if it were like 50 bucks, and I want to pay 45. Like I would probably do that. Like I don't think that'd be too terrible. Well, something's only a few dollars. I'm like, just pay the money, you know? Um, okay, last, oh, yeah, last item. And I don't know why I bought this, but I just, I don't know why I bought this. I just like it. I can do this little trinket to show you. It's a clown. It's a little clown necklace. And I don't know what it is, but I like them. And I'm not even into clowns. I'm not scared of clowns. But I'm not into clowns. And it's actually a little kid's necklace. I, I saw that it had a chain. I didn't pay attention to how long it was. It's very, very, sh very, very short. Um, so, I don't know. But it's, it's heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. It probably wouldn't even fit around my neck. Maybe a few years ago it would have been. What? <laughs> no. It's like a choker. Like, literally. <laughs> um, so, I will have to add another chain to it or put on another chain if I want to wear it. But, I just, I don't know. I don't know. And he's only a dollar. I just thought he was so cute. There's something about him. He's just adorable. He's... I feel like he didn't harm anybody. He's a good egg. But I don't know. It's just cute. I just... I don't know. I just like... And there are no, there are no markings from what I can tell. There's a place... There's a section on a row when they repaved it that it's not 100% smooth. So whenever trucks go by, it's like... Dum -dum, dum -dum. It's so loud. Anyway, alright. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's nice that you spend the time to sit here with me and um, allow me to show you the items that I recently purchased. And I like to share this with you guys because it's fun for me too. It's fun to be like, look at this. I've never seen this before and share it with you guys. And I love watching other people's videos and what they like, what they get and what they collect. And um, um, before I forget, I was, I'm glad I, I remember before I ended the video, I actually have a couple more things to show you, but I already have them in my house and because of what they are, I can't really bring them outside right now. So the two items are these blue canisters. I got, it's a canister set, sorry. It's from, oh, I forget the brand. I'll put it on the screen. It's escaping my memory. Anyway, but I already put flour and sugar in them and I didn't want them sitting outside because it's warm today and there's a chance of rain and I didn't want to bring them outside and chance them spilling or something. But I love them so much. I only pay like $3.99 and $2.99 for them. Uh, the paint was coming off pretty bad on them, but I don't care. They're really cool. And I've been kind of wanting to get some canisters, some vintage canisters for my kitchen counter. And most canister sets come in four. I really didn't want all four because they take up so much space. And it wasn't like something green or blue. It, it, it was perfect. It was just two. It holds flour and sugar. The two things I mainly use anyway. And they match the color and the color scheme and the decor, like the mid-century and the vintage items. So really happy with that. So I'll just give you the picture on that. But the other item I got was this really cute white wicker shelf. 
Um, it's actually made to, well, okay, you can stand it on top of a table, but it's also made to hang on a wall. And I was trying to think, where am I gonna hang it? I have no place for it. And then I realized I cleaned off one of my, um, I have a uh, kitchen cart in my bedroom that I use for holding my craft stuff. And it fits perfectly on there. And it works out for holding all my little coin purses that I've been collecting. All my little coin purses and little tiny purses have been like stuck in like, like under my bed for the longest while because I had no way to display them. So when I figured out I could use the shelf and like sit it on top of the three tiered metal kitchen cart, I was thrilled. I was really happy with that. So it works out so well and I love the look of it. So anyway, but I wanted to quick show you that as well. But to, to bring it out here, I have to take everything off and I just got everything just the way I wanted it. So I didn't want to take everything off and bring it out here. Everything else I lugged out here. So not to lug everything back in and put it where it belongs. So anyway, so it goes. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you would like to. You don't have to, that's perfectly okay if you don't want to, but it, I do appreciate it um, when you do. And uh, hope you all have a good rest of the week and I uh, will see you next time, bye.